you've got bad karma, and then you've got good karma. And Angela Peristeri is serving good karma. Angela, hello. Hello, William. I'm so excited. It's so nice to finally meet you because we started listening to your music, you know, way back in November, December, and here you are. Here, and I hope so much to see you in Rotterdam, you know? Oh, likewise. I would be so happy. I would be so happy. Me too. I'm happy always. I'm so happy. <laughs> they made me meme, uh, memes with I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, to start the interview, you have some very big news about a certain Swedish stage director. What can you tell us? Yes, I'm working with uh, Sasha Jean-Baptiste. Wow. I love her. I love her work. And uh, I think he's one of the best names in Eurovision when you talk about staging. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited for Eurovision. I'm doing my performance with Jean-Baptiste Group. Hey. Hello! <laughs> Sasha and Keisha. I'm so happy, girls. <laughs> really, thank you so much. Thank you. So cool working with you. It will be great. Yay. Wait for it. <laughs> so me and my team, uh, we wanted so much to, to work with her. And uh, we had a conversation. Uh, for weeks and then we decided to work together and I'm very excited about that. Oh, that's fantastic. Had you seen some of her Eurovision stage shows before? Yes, I have seen a lot of her Eurovision stages and I like it so much. I was in Sweden now for three days and I met her in person. We did some uh, rehearsals and uh, we are working for a great performance in Rotterdam, I think. Ah, so you already know what your stage show will look like. Yes. Ah, what can you tell us, Angela Peristeri? Actually, I can't say anything because I want to keep it secret until May. But uh, I must say that uh, it will be a very, very good performance. Okay. W will we see anything similar to Festival Ikungis from Albania? I think no, it's something else. Ah. And uh, the concept is another concept. I can say all, only that we don't have dancers. No dancers? Yes. Okay, wow. When Sasha Jean-Baptiste presented her idea to you, were you, what's the word? You embraced it instantly, you said great, or did she have to convince you? Uh, actually, I liked it a lot when uh, she showed to me the draft because uh, my idea was like the same with her. So I liked the idea and uh, we started immediately working about that. Okay. And the idea, we know your song is about a woman who maybe her life is not going so well and she blames herself. She yes. did the poor, th the bad choices, basically. Um, is that the idea you'll present on the stage? Like, will we see you suffering? <laughs> I can't say nothing, sorry. <laughs> Understood. You're fa it's fair. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you can tell us about your costume or your dress. Uh, in Albania, you looked beautiful. I mean, you were like the prom queen, Miss Albania, you know, ready to go. Will you go for glamour? Will you go for warrior? I think I will go for something uh, sensual, something mm. to be a woman, a powerful woman, but no a warrior woman, you know? Okay, I see. A powerful woman, but not a warrior. You tease. Oh, you tease. <laughs> <laughs> now, Angela, <laughs> You released the revamp of Karma. And 
and people were blown away. People, Eurovision fans who didn't like the original Karma even said, I love this now. Please tell us, uh, why did you decide to do the revamp and what was the process like? Um, after Festival Likangas, me and my team decided to keep the song in Albania, as you know, actually. And uh, we decided to do a revamp. But uh, we thought that uh, this time the revamp must be more powerful, more ethnic, uh, just to, to don't change the song so much, but to be more powerful. And uh, we did that revamp. We liked it so much. So here we are. The people liked it. I am very excited about that. And uh, maybe, not maybe, but I think actually that in uh, Rotterdam, uh, the sound would be great of the revamp. Was this a quick process or did it take a long time and a lot of changes? No was a quick process. I did it uh, not in Albania, but uh, I had a little bit problems with the, with the coronavirus, so I didn't go there and we did it online, actually. Um, I can't tell who made it. <laughs> okay, someone outside of Albania. Yes. I see, David Guetta in France, that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we knew it. <laughs> what did Sasha Jean-Baptiste say when she heard the revamp? She liked it very much, uh, more than the original song. So we have more ideas for this performance then. So we've been able to see the foreign response from foreigners, but what has the response to the revamp been like among Albanians? Uh, the Albanians liked it very much. I was in a lot of uh, transmissions, uh, TV shows. They liked it. They have expectation, expectations for me. But uh, I'm a little bit afraid. I don't know why. <laughs> because I'm uh, from now I have a lot of emotions. And uh, I will try and I will do my best to go in Rotterdam and to show my best so Albania can take a good place this year, I think. What I love about Albanian singers at Eurovision is there's always this feeling they're singing for everyone in Albania. You know, sometimes other artists say, oh yeah, I want to represent my country well. But with Albania, there is this intensity, this connection to the people. Could you tell us about that? Where do you think that comes from? We are a small country and uh, actually we have a great hospitality for, for the others and we are very uh, close. Now with the revamp you also gave us this beautiful music video, Angela in white, Angela in red. It's a story here. Could you tell us about the music video and what your goal was? Uh, the video clip of Karma was recorded in Kosovo, uh, but uh, it, uh, by the best company actually there, Imagine Films. Um, of course, we had a lot of uh, restrictions because of COVID-19, but the real difficulty was to record the video in the freezing weather of Kosovo. <laughs> I was uh, recording in maybe minus, minus nine, I don't know. And it, it, this part was a little bit difficult. The rest was great. So when you were walking on the road in the white dress, it was nine, negative nine? Yeah. Oh my God, you tricked me because you looked comfortable. Except yes. that you started running. It wasn't so much. <laughs> and uh, for the dresses, I must, uh, I will work again with my friend Yoni Pecci. Oh. He's one of the best. So I think we're a great team. We're okay. <laughs> Honey, Yoni Pechi Fashion Cafe Tirana. Yes, me and Devin were there for Congo Magic a few years ago. Beautiful cafe, beautiful spirit, Yoni Pechi, Yoni Pechi. Shout out to him. <laughs> now the coffee is a showroom. Oh, yeah. and you are stomping down the runway in your Eurovision fashion. 
<laughs> Interesting. Well, the, the music video, the, could you tell us, the woman in the red dress, yes. tell us about playing her. What, what is her story? The woman in white actually was the one that remembered the things she has done in the past. And the woman in red was uh, the one that the woman in white is remembering. I am yeah. uh, walking and singing and remembering what I have done. Yeah. And uh, they in the in the in the end of the video we meet each other, and it's actually like to give hope that you must. Uh, and if you if you do bad things in your life and bad choices, you always have a chance to to get the things better. You know. I see. That's beautiful. The poor man in the video, though. The woman in the red dress? She did him wrong. <laughs> Actually, the song is not uh, only about a man. It's about everything. Mm. I wanted this subject because when uh, we get... Uh, we, when we had the lockdown before a year, I understood that we had everything at with one, we had nothing. So for this, I wanted this, uh, this subject of the song. Oh, and you convey it very well, Angela Perry Steri. Two final requests for you. Could you shout out to your fans in Albania, in Kosovo, in the Albanian language? Of course. Falim derit shumë për mbështetin që më keni dhe në derit ani. Jam uh, vërtet shumë i njose të gjithë atyre që më kanë bështetur dhe në rrath par familjes time dhe do mundohem shumë që në Rotterdam, në Eurovision, të japë më të mirë në time. And you, shumë... and you, of course, also speak Greek. Our girl yes. is multilingual. What about for your Greek fans? Do you have a message for them? Ευχαριστώ πάρα πάρα πολύ όλους τους φαν μου στην Ελλάδα για όλη τη στήριξη που μου δείχνατε κάθε μέρα. Ε, σας ευχαριστώ μέσα από την καρδιά μου και εύχομαι να σας το συμπληρώσω μια μέρα, ειλικρινά. Well, let's keep going. How about in English? <laughs> uh, in English, of course. Uh, I am very grateful to all the fans that every day show to me a lot of love with their stories, with their messages, and um, I will try to do my best in Rotterdam to not disappoint anyone. Angela Perry Steri, you will not disappoint anyone. You have got the voice, you've got a song with a revamp, you've got Sasha Jean-Baptiste. My lord, it's looking good! Let's hope! <laughs> And before we go, before we started talking, you were saying so many nice things about your composer. Could, could you just maybe share a message to your composer here or tell us a little bit about him? He is one of my best friends. Uh, he, is writing, he has uh, done a lot of songs for me. And I want to say him a big thank you for this beautiful song. And also the, to Olti Tsuri uh, is the one that made the lyrics of my song. I thank them very much. They are a great team. We won and Kanga Majige together. <laughs> she is Angela Peristeri, Albania's Eurovision 2021 singer, singing Karma. Stay tuned for more details about her stage show. I'm going to be following Shasha Jean Baptiste on Instagram and trying to figure things out. <laughs> Angela, thank you so much for living there. Uh, thank you so much, William. It, it was a big pleasure for me talking with you. I hope to see you soon. And uh, too much, uh, very much love for everybody. <laughs>